<laughs> the, uh, the worst beer I ever made um, was my first attempt at a holiday ale. And after that beer, I resolved, I'm gonna break it all down. I'm gonna do one beer until I get it right. If you can make a really sessionable, easy drinking beer, then you've actually learned something. You've learned how to brew beer. And that took another eight years. When I finally did that pale ale that uh, met my standards and I achieved my goal, it dawned on me, hey, you know, that was it. That was what I've been trying to do for all these years. I've actually done it. I thought, I can base a company on that. I believe that that beer is something that has universal appeal. And based on that, we decided there was no name more fitting than Universal for our flagship Pale Ale. It takes a lot of things to brew beer, uh, but actually it takes four specific things to brew beer. Uh, malted barley, hops, water, which is about 95% of beer. Uh, then we also have uh, yeast, which is kind of the workhorse, which, I mean, without yeast, you have no beer. You just have really sugary, um, you know, water. The yeast is my favorite ingredient. There's so many different kinds of yeast, uh, so much flavor that can be contributed from yeast. And it's the living organism that causes beer to happen. And so it's, it's pretty fascinating. We're a wholesale brewery. So we brew our Pale Ale, the Universal. We brew our IPA, the Inner Urban, all the time. And then uh, we rotate through one of three seasonals. In the summer, it's our summer solstice. In the fall, it is our harvest ale. And in the winter, it's our abominable ale. And it's great. It requires that dedication to excellence and the repeatability and the attention to detail every day as we brew those beers. But everybody here, they're here because they get to keep one hand engaged in the creativity, the experimentation, the fun. We have an amazing selection of grains. You can brew almost any style, any day here if you just walk in and think, you know, I have some free time today. I'm gonna do a pilot batch of fill in the blank. You can do it. Our barrel aging program, it's something that, that's always fascinated me. And then uh, the, the sour beer aspect of barrel aging too, where we had microorganisms and uh, wild yeast that produce this amazing, amazing aroma. A little bit of sourness, uh, but not overwhelmingly so. We age our sour beers for a minimum of 12 months. What that imparts as far as flavor and character uh, is stunning. And we swing for the fence and sometimes we completely miss. Uh, there might be a little bit of mad scientist in me. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Nothing too crazy. <laughs> because beer matters. That's why we do it. There's a story behind this beer, and that's an engaging part of why people like microbreweries. Uh, we hope this story engages people. Even if it doesn't, we hope they like the beer, because beer matters.